Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another Astro Wine video where I try to match your zodiac sign with wine. Now, in all honesty, I didn't think that I'd be back here. The last two wine and zodiac sign videos haven't exactly panned out too well. You know, I thought about this long and hard, but in the 11th hour, I changed my mind. Why? Well, first and foremost, I have trouble with dropping things in the middle and not seeing things through. So that's a bit of trivia of me being a Taurus. Whatever we start, we just have to finish. Because that's true to a Taurus, we have to plow through the earth. But anyway, this video isn't about me being a Taurus. Our current season is Leo season. That's the biggest factor. Why is that? For those of you who have Leo friends, a lot of them are actually into the arts, music, theater, celebrities, influencers. So Leos actually own the stage. As a fire sign, Leos are larger than life. Even the shy Leos are the center of attention. So this is what's inherent of a Leo and also what's inherent of the season. And if I can feed off that Leo energy, that influencer celebrity energy that this season brings, then why not? I just might get lucky. And just a little trivia, I actually started this channel in Leo season last year. Yup, I wouldn't really say that I'm the type, but I think it was because of Leo season last year that I fed off of and ended up being here. I wouldn't say it's a glaring success. My channel is still not monetized, but we're getting there and hopefully you can subscribe to my channel so we can put this theory on the Leo season to the test. And with that, what wine do we have today to represent the Leo? We have today here an Italian special wine. This is a Nebbiolo. So why do I think that a Nebbiolo represents Leos? Well, the Nebbiolo's claim to fame is actually the world-renowned Barolo wine and Barbaresco wine are known to be the king and queen of wines. Arguably, they can challenge the best Bordeaux out there. And today, of course, working with a bit of a budget, we don't have a Barolo nor a Barbaresco, but we have the Nebbiolo, the same varietal that the Barbaresco and the Barolos are made from. And this Nebbiolo is also from the Lange region. It's actually the same region where the Barbaresco and the Barolo come from. So this bottle is from Toso, some branded as Marne Forti. Even if it's not those award-winning Barolos, this varietal is potent enough, has enough star power, just like Leo's. So let's get it started. Cheers, guys. It's actually semi-translucent. It's very light. The characteristic of a Nebbiolo with regards to its color is it's almost like a Pinot Noir. And that's the great thing about Nebbiolos. You would think that it's a light wine. On the nose, there's slight hints of leather, but it's actually very fruity, very juicy. Cheers, guys. Woo! That's a good bottle of wine. I think this is gonna be my default for non-special occasion, but wanting to treat myself. Wine, wine. So a Nebbiolo, again, is very light. Once you're in, it's very strong. It's very tannic. It's probably one of the most tannic wines that I've ever had. Ooh. And this wine does not kid around. I can just feel it in my teeth and my mouth. <laughs> and I have to tell you, this isn't for the faint of heart. If you're looking for a wine that's a little sweet, a little easy to take in, in all honesty, I don't think this wine might be for you. It's bitter, it's strong. It goes in with a lot of strength, a lot of boldness, and then it hits you more. There's like a second punch and a third punch, and then and the tannins start to envelope your mouth. And I think it's just a wonderful varietal, really showing its strength. It doesn't hesitate, and that's why the Italians are really proud of this export. Even though this is not the king or queen of wine, I would say that it is definitely of royal blood. Guys, you should try this. So this Nebbiolo from Toso, actually got from Santi's Delicatessen, for a little under 700 pesos. I know that's a little higher than the typical value wines that I share with you, 
But for me, I think this is still of great value because Barolos are anywhere north of 2,500 pesos or about $50. So what do you think guys? Does the Nebbiolo equate to the star power of the Leo? I definitely think so. And what do you think guys? Should I be doing more of this wine and zodiac sign videos? If yes, let me know in the comment section. Hit like, comment, and consider subscribing because I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching guys and cheers. Happy Leo season. We're bound to get lucky.